Hi, this is Richard Azarga from Microsoft. In this video, we're going to try to build an app for Office end-to-end -end in about seven minutes. So what I really like about this is it illustrates how easy it is to build apps in our new model. Um, if we were trying to do the exact same thing in a traditional Office plugin, it would take a much longer period of time to build. So not only is it going to be easier, we're going to be able to use you know, standard technologies like HTML5 and JavaScript and CSS. So the app we're gonna build is kind of a silly app, it's called Rhymes for Word. And, and what we're gonna do in this is, we're gonna basically build an app that runs in, as a task pane app, and the user's gonna be able to select words inside of a document. And when they select a word, we're gonna go out and find all the rhymes for that word. And then we're gonna allow them to select one of the rhymes and replace their original word. So although, Kind of silly, it illustrates several concepts of the Office app model. We're gonna be able to wire into events that occur inside of Office. So when the selection changes in the Office document, we're gonna wire into that and be able to know when it occurs. We're also gonna both read from the document and write to the document. So we're gonna do a pretty complete sample here and we're gonna to try to do it in about seven minutes. So um, one of the things I'll just illustrate here is that what I've done as a start is I've created an empty uh, app for office project. So I haven't done anything else in here. This is kind of the exact same uh, project that you would get if you went out and selected the app for office template and selected a task pane app. So um, all of the files are, are you know, part of that template. And the template has a really nice kind of hello world sample that shows you how to do a few simple things. We're gonna strip out a lot of that hello world sample and add our own logic. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna start off with as we uh, try to build this app in seven minutes. So building this in seven minutes, it's probably gonna go somewhat fast, but that's kind of the purpose of having a video is that you can simply pause things, rewind it, and hopefully be able to follow along and build your own rhymes for word app and see how these are, are built so easily. So you can see my timer over on the right of the screen. We'll kind of keep that up so you can see how we're tracking against time. And we'll try to go ahead and, and build this in seven minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play and we'll get going. So I'm first in a, a default HTML page that the template gives us. And we're gonna strip out all of the main content in here and basically replace it with a single unordered list that we're gonna call the list. So this unordered list is gonna get all of the um, rhymes that we're going to go out and find. The next thing I'm gonna go is look at the app.js. And this is a page that we can put app-wide logic into. Um, it's good, if, especially if you have multiple pages in your app. Now we're not. I'm gonna define a couple of functions on here. One called get rhymes, that's going to accept the word we need to find rhymes for. And then I'm gonna do another function called app.setRhyme. And that's also going to accept a word that we're going to pass into it. And um, in fact, I'll go ahead and finish the set rhyme out. It's really simple. We're simply going to find the document that we're in. So we're gonna do office.context.document and we're going to set selected data async. So um, in this, we'll pass the word and we're gonna add a, a, a space to the word and you'll see why that is. Um, and then we're going to be able to have a callback that tells us if we were successful. So there's some checks that I could do here, but I'm gonna kind of take the happy path. Um, for Git Rhymes, we're going to use jQuery to call out to a, uh, a OData service that's going to give us um, rhymes. So we're gonna use a URL. We're gonna pass, the method we're gonna use is a Git. Um, the data type, now we're gonna call cross domain here. Um, and so there's different ways of doing that, but I'm gonna use JSONP um, to do that. And then finally, we're going to have a success. Um, and the success is going to pass us all of our rhymes. So we're gonna process that um, when we get all of these. So first of all, I'll go ahead and put my URL in here. And this is just a little JSON service that I've had around for a while that we're gonna pass the word into. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is kind of do our success part of this. So um, there's lots of more elegant ways of, of building up HTML, but I'm simply going to just use a string to do it. So um, on the list, which is our unordered list, 
we're going to set some HTML on that um, as we process the data that came back. So we have this data and we need to loop through it because it represents all of the rhymes that our app um, was able to go out and query. So I'm gonna use a jQuery syntax for this to do a for each. There's lots of ways that you can do for each loops. Um, and the jQuery one passes us an index and an element back. Um, and so with those, and let's see what I have here. Oh, misspelled function. There we go. Um, and, and so what we're gonna do is basically loop through each of one of those and build up an HTML string. So we'll just do a plus equals and we're gonna put it in a list item because we used an unordered list. And inside of here, we're going to put what that element is. So it's basically the word. Now I also wanna put this inside of a, uh, a link. So we're gonna put an href here that is going to be equal to a JavaScript function that we've already built called app dot set rhyme. So when they click on the, the, um, the rhyme word, we want to actually call into our function. Um, so inside of this, we're also going to need to pass the element into it. All right, we'll just go ahead and clean up the rest of this just to finish up our anchor. Um, and basically we're done in this page. We have our script that goes through calls the service um, and we also have a set rhyme as well. So now we need to basically wire up the event that occurs when selection changes. And, and to do that, we're gonna go into the home.js file. And again, there's, there's kind of some starter code that's in here that we're going to strip out. Uh, but what we are gonna keep is um, a couple of things. The office.initialize basically um, is something that allows us to know when all of the scripts have loaded so that we can call into the, um, the JavaScript object model for um, these Office apps. So we have this office.initialize and then we're doing a document ready which is just jQuery's way of saying that our page is fully loaded. When this occurs, we're gonna wire into an event. So I'm gonna say office.context.document and what we're gonna do is add a handler, async. Um, and the handler we're gonna use, so there's an enumeration here of events that we can uh, wire into. We're gonna use the data selection changed event or document selection changed event. Um, and basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna allow us to uh, perform a, uh, have a callback anytime the selection changed. And that's as frequent as just the cursor moving around in our document. Um, it doesn't give us data back, so we need to do another call here to actually get the data once it comes back to us or, or once the event occurs. So we're gonna do office.context.document and we're going to get selected data async. When we get data, we need to tell it what type of data we're expecting, which is what we call a coercion type. And so I'm just gonna say we expect text back and then we have our callback that gives us the actual result. Um, now, at this point we have the data, we have the selection, but we need to do an additional check. So I'm gonna simply say, uh, we'll do result.status. We need to make sure that it succeeded. And the other thing we're gonna do is check the result.value.length to make sure it's greater than two. I don't wanna call this my service just any time. But once we do have a successful selection and it's greater than the length is greater than two, we're going to call app.getRhymes and inside of it we're going to pass the result.value. And now our app is done, I believe. So we were a little bit early. We finished it in six minutes and 44 seconds. Um, but I believe all of our logic is in place. So again, kind of just to walk through as a kind of a final review. Uh, this home.js is for the, the main page as it loads. When it loads, we're gonna basically wire into the, the selection changed event. That's gonna, anytime the selection in the document changes, we're gonna be able to be notified of it. Um, so when we're notified, we're gonna go get the new selection. And that's what we're doing in the second line. We're gonna do a get select, selected data async. 
And then as long as that was successful and the word isn't like the word I or A, so it needs to be a little bit longer of a word, uh, we'll actually go out and get the rhymes. Um, and then our get rhyme and set rhyme simply did just that. It, it, the get rhyme goes out, calls a service, um, and then updates the UI. And our set rhyme simply takes the word that was selected and injects it back into the Word document. So we're getting data from the document, we're setting data on the document, and we're binding to events. Let's see if it actually worked. We'll go ahead and press play here. That's gonna launch into Word. And you can see our app loading here as a task pane. So you can see our rhymes for Word app. Now I'm just gonna generate some random paragraphs on our document using this rand function that Word has. So we'll just generate four random paragraphs. And now, um, one of the interesting things is as I'm moving my cursor around the screen, our event is actually firing. We're, we're being notified that so the selection has changed. So let's maybe select the word powerful here. So when I select that, you can see it went out and called our service and we get a number of rhymes. So, um, so far we've been, uh, event, we've been notified of the event that the selection changed. We were able to use that to go get the selection, um, read it and go get rhymes for it. And then in the final um, part of this is we're going to go and send a rhyme and replace the word that we originally selected. So I'll select maybe countable here. And you could see that when I selected it, it actually went back in and updated the document. So there you go, end to end, an app for office using bindings, using reading from the document, writing to the document, um, all fully functioning in a little less than seven minutes. So hopefully this shows you that the app model for Office is, is very easy to use. You can build applications very quickly that can add a lot of value to Office workers. So thanks a lot. Watch the video and hopefully you can build your own Rhymes for Word app.